I'm back. Well, this is my friend. This is my back. So here I am. I'm going to bust out here uh, lesson 87, evaluating logarithmic expressions. And remember that word expression means there's no equal signs. We're just going to be given something like, and then you're going to evaluate, which means uh, we're going to plug something in right there. Okay, so actually we'll uh, do some simplification using our rules and then we'll evaluate, we'll plug the number in uh, whatever the number happens to be. Let me quickly review our rules that we have at our disposal for logarithms. And these are rules to any base B, so it could be log base 10 or log base E or anywhere in between. So we have the uh, product rule. If I can break a number down into its pieces, I can add the logarithm, all those pieces up together. That's how a slide rule works. I've got the quotient rule. If I can write it as something divided by something else, like I could write 25 as 100 over 4, I can break it down. Logarithm of x minus the logarithm of y. Okay. So multiplication turns into addition, division turns into subtraction. And then we've got the power rule that if it's x to the n, we can bring that n down to the front. I love that rule. It's probably my favorite rule. And then this is the change of base. Log base a of b can be rewritten to a different base. Take the logarithm of b <coughs> divided by the logarithm of a. That one comes in handy when you want to do, like, let's change it to base 10 or to base e in order to simplify the problem. So change of base, we can take something where we don't like the way it is. We could split it up and go from there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use those rules and we're going to take something that looks a little clunky and we're going to uh, simplify it first and then we're going to evaluate. And I'll give you some examples where simplify, evaluate, or if we're going to use change of base. And then I'll give you a real life example that if you take physics class, you'll do this. It has to do with Newton's law of cooling. Uh, I've done that lab. It's actually the math is pretty cool, and we get some good models for how quickly my cup of coffee will, will cool off, depending on if I drink it or not. Okay, here we go. Here's our problem. We're going to take this, we're going to simplify it, and then once it's a little bit simpler, then we're going to plug this in. But I want you, as much as possible, not use your calculator. I want you, as much as possible, to use your math skills to get an idea of what's really going on. Okay? so. Um, right. First thing I see is this right here, that this is the power rule. And so if I want to simplify, the first step that I'm going to do there is go three times log base four of 16x. That's step one. Step two is that this right here is a product. So I'm going to use my product rule. I'm going to use this rule. I'm going to take these two factors, I'm going to break them up into two pieces. That is three times log base 4 of 16 plus log base 4 of x. Now I like this 4 and 16 business because I know that four, uh, 16 is 4 squared. So I'm going to rewrite that as 4 squared. And if I do that, I can see that I can now use the power rule to bring that 2 down in front. So that's what I'm going to do. And I can see the log base 4 of 4 is 1. So now I'm going to change that business to 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So I've got that. I got a little bit of distribution here. So 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times log base 4x. And now it's about as simple as I can get it, I think. And now I'm going to, uh, to do the evaluating. Evaluate means now I'm going to plug in 200 and 56. 256. That smells suspiciously four ish. Don't you think? What do you think it is? Can you think of how to write four to the power of is 256? Yeah, I can. It's four to the fourth. 16 squared. Whichever one you'd like. So why don't I just rewrite that? I got six plus three times log base four of four to the fourth. Now I'm going to use my power rule and go uh, 6 plus 3 times 4 times log base 4 of the 4, which is 1. 
3 times 4 times 1 is 12. And 6 plus 12 is 18. The original problem, uh, x, if I plug in a 256, the whole thing equals 18. I didn't use my calculator once. Well, I did, but I paused it, and then I looked up 4, four to the 4th, and it was, it was 256. So I kind of cheated there just a little bit. But everything else, I used my calculator. Or I didn't use my calculator. Oh, confession time. Do you see how fun this is? Like, let me rip this thing apart and just look at all the basic nuts and bolts and see what I can do with it. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Dude, people, it's almost pie time. This is so exciting. Okay, let me clear the board. I'm going to put the next example up, and we'll use chains of base. Actually, I got two. Got an easy one up here. I got a little bit harder one up here, down here. This one, we'll use chains of base. So what I've got here, power rule. Two natural log 7e. I've got product rule, 2 times natural log 7 plus natural log e. What's the natural log of e? It is 1. Well, distribution, 2 times natural log of 7 plus 2. Calculator can do this for you, and you can get an approximate answer-ish. 5.9-ish. Uh-oh, my wife is calling me on the phone. Booyah! Five. Oh, man, this one. Oh, yeah, I finished that one off. Okay, let's look at this one here. Base 100 super-duper clunky, don't you think? It would be way nicer if this was in base 10, right? Um, but I got this two here that I can deal with first. I'm going to bring it down to the front, and let's just do it right here. Right there, power roll, bam, okay? Now we got this, and I'm just gonna do change of base here. I'm gonna change it to base 10. That's gonna be way easier to deal with because there's a 10 right there, right? So let's do two times, and then we're gonna get our change of base here, which I'm going to base 10, so I'm not gonna even write the 10. I'm just gonna write the log, 10x over log base 10 of 100. What's the log base 10 of 100? Two. <laughs> so this is two. And you know what two divided by two is? <laughs> it's one. So that's all gone as well. And I got this. I'm going to put the 10 in there just for fun, right? This is log base 10. 10 plus log base 10 x. That's one. It's getting easy. This is ridiculous. Okay, and now, now, base 10, I'm going to put in my 1,000. Now it's time to evaluate. So here we go. What's log base 10 of 1,000? 3. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Look at that. That's what it comes down to is 1 plus 3 is 4. Isn't that awesome? It would start off really clunky and weird looking, but, man, that was not so bad. Do you think? <laughs> That's what I think. Well, this is all good fun, but let's get uh, keep the pedal to the metal. Got one more example using um, some change of base. And then uh, the practical one, Newton's Law of Cooling. Got two, two things to go. You liking this? <laughs> this is fun. Oh, yeah. What else, what else do you have to do? Okay. Example three. This one now is actually like solve for x, right? Solve for x. So I got two things I could do here. Um, hmm, what could I do? What could I do? I got an idea. Um, I got a couple of ideas. All right. One of them would just be to rewrite these each number. Um, and let's do it like base 10. So let's rewrite 1,000 as uh, base 10. So that would be 10 uh, to the third, correct? 10 to the third, all right? So I'll get this, 10 to the third with 9x on the outside. And this one I'll write as uh, 10 squared. Let me use the power rule here. and rewrite this as 9 times 3. And then I'm going to use the fact that there's a big fat equal sign in the middle. 
And I can just take that powers of 10 out there and say my new problem is 2070x equals 2. How about that? So, pretty neat. x is 2 27ths. And I didn't even use a logarithm. You like it? You should pause and check that out. I'm going to erase it. I'm going to start over again. Okay, well, what the book would rather us do is to change the form into uh, into logarithmic form. That is, we have, you know, b to the x equals a number, or b to the l equals a number. Change that form over to log base b of uh, the number equals the logarithm. So I'm going to take this side, take this whole thing right here, set up. Uh, it's already set up like this. We're going to turn it over and set it up like this. So we're going to rewrite this as log base 1,000, which is stupid, of the number, which is 100, equals the logarithm 9x. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that 9x side. I'm going to mess with this side because this is yucky. And so I'm going to go base 10 with these. I'm going to do change of base. And change of base says that I can go log base 10 of 100 divided by log base 10 of 1,000. And I saw both of those. I could actually do those in my head. Log base 100 is 2. Log base 10 of 100 is 2. Log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. And now I'm solving for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9. And there's my 2 27ths again. There's two different ways to solve that sucker. I kind of like the first way myself because I think it's more creative. But either of these is creative because we're using the tools that we've got to get it to the simple, simple problem. I like my first one because I noticed that 10 to the whatever I can get up there. If I can make them 10 to the power of and there's an equal sign in the middle, their exponents are equal to each other. And then I don't even have to think about to the power of and just think of that uh, simpler algebraic expression. Okay, I'm going to clear the board. I'm going to do the very last one. And that's going to be the most complicated one, the, the real life thing. The um, the Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of cooling. So I, I um, heat up a bunch of coffee, gets like a hundred degrees, like scalding hot, and then I put a thermometer in it and I just let it sit there. And over time, it's going to uh, get cooler, right? Because its environment is cooler. Um, the bigger the difference between the environment and the the coffee, um, the faster the temperature will drop. But it drops on. Uh, an exponential decay curve or a logarithmic type of curve. And so that's why, because it's got exponents, and here's the stuff that's changing, you got it, you got to set up like this. Now it's got a little bit of, of calculus roots to it. You got a plus C in there. Ask, ask Barrett about plus C. He'll probably like spit at you. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to solve this equation for T. It's up there in the exponent, so we're going to have to use some logarithms to get it down. And then once we've got it in a different form, we're going to evaluate it under given conditions. So this is like um, you've got the temperature that you get it to. You get the surroundings temperature here. You've got time as time goes by, some type of decay constant and, a, and something here like, like a limit. All right. We've got all this stuff and we need to say T equals. T equals, and then they're going to give us the conditions. And this is the way we do it in the lab. We just measure the temperature every minute or every 30 seconds, make a table, and then evaluate it uh, in, in this equation here. And we come up with, with a curve that is to predict uh, the behavior of if we did it with um, at a different temperature and the room was a different temperature. So either heat the room up, have hot coffee, uh, but you also got to think of like as you're drinking it, the 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 amount of it is less, so the, the drop in temperature goes faster. Anyway, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do what we can. And what we can do first is go minus r on both sides. So second step looks like this. t minus r is e to the kt plus c. And at this point now, we've got to pull out our friend, uh, pull out our friend, the natural logarithm. Think e to the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, natural logarithm. Here, here we go. Natural logarithm of this side, and if you do that, the exponent comes down the front. I get 
kt plus c times the natural log of e equals the natural log of the difference t minus r. Now we're trying to get to this. So this part equals 1. Get rid of that. And get rid of these parentheses. And I'm going to keep moving, shipping stuff off, off to the other, other side. So we're going to go minus c on both sides. Natural log of t minus r minus c equals k times t. And then lastly, we're going to divide both sides by k. And we'll get our, we'll get our t. Our t, not r t. It's all r's and t's and c's and k's in there. Okay. So this is our working equation here. And the given conditions in that problem are that our initial temperature is 55. The surrounding temperature, I think that's how they set it up, is 25. They give us our constant value, 4.0073. That's how this one rolls. And we've got our, I'm oh, sorry, that's the, the con C constant. And then uh, our K value, negative 0 0.0, oh, negative 2, 0, 0, 0, 6, 4. These things always have lots of zeros. Okay, so once I had this, then they just give me boom, 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 and I, I plug it in and I get, I get T. As long as you take the natural log of that difference there then you're all good and it pops out to be approximately oops t is approximately 3.03 it took like three hours or three minutes whichever the case is for it to get down to where it was now it's a lot of work but i just took the um did some math natural logarithm shipped everything over to the other side until i just had t on one side and everything else on the other and then plug stuff in and out comes your answer. There you go. Uh, they probably won't have, they might have one like that. Uh, call me, uh, come in, ask me at breakfast. I'll work that out. But otherwise, we're using uh, these rules here in creative ways in order to evaluate logarithmic expressions. See you soon.